Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the 23rd game of the series, and this year Ubisoft has developed a game which will no doubt be in the favorites list of many gamers. Ubisoft has developed the game on the excellent RPG foundation laid by the previous editions. However, it has meaningful improvements and irons out all the frustrations people had with Origins and Odyssey. The game immediately took the attention of the world with its incredibly smooth gameplay, engaging story and breathtaking game design. So let's jump in and see what Valhalla has in store for us and find out if it is worth the wait and price. Graphics and Gameplay It is not a shock that Valhalla is the best looking game out there. Ubisoft broke the annual release cycle and took extra time for the development of this game. A vast map, packed to the borders with details, and the game ensure that the player experiences a lot of different places. In the beginning, it's mountains capped with snow and frozen rivers, and later it changes to misty swamps and beyond. An impressive day and night cycle behind the scenes shift the character of each area as light sources are emphasized and shadows are progressed. All of this is coupled with different seasons in different regions. Ubisoft has flexed its graphical courage in the game. Players are dropped into a rich, snowy environment. Visual treats such as plowing through the snow and misty breath are pervasive throughout. However, the game is not without flaws. Sometimes hairs clip through armor and dead bodies suddenly flop around. Also, non-player characters, NPCs, create an occasional immersion issue. It seems the game wants to highlight big set-piece battles, and honestly it does it very well, especially with so many people on screen. The game also has a revive mechanic to help out down friendlies. It is a good thing, but mostly it's just a random person with whom the player has no attachment, so it feels like a vague point. The voice acting is mostly good. The lip sync does flack occasionally. Overall, it is nicely done. The gameplay mostly follows the same thoughts as previous versions of the series, but there is more emphasis on combat this year. Players have to manage a stamina meter to find success. The enemies also have two bars above their head. The top one represents their ability to block, and the lower one is their health. The game also adds meaning to exploration and looting as the health regeneration is gone this year. Players will have to build up a supply of rations for more health refills. The player lock-on system, however, is still wonky, and camera issues do pop up. The destruction of battle is the best in the series. Heads and limbs fly around with fountains of blood. 